You're running for governor, and I have a question for you. You're running for governor. Why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four-year term as governor? Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's not a tough time? question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. I want to ask you about something the former president said about Ron DeSantis, because he's been, I don't know, a little circumspect when asked directly about possible 2024 opponents. But listen to what he told Yahoo News in an interview over the weekend, Yahoo Finance. If I faced him, Ron DeSantis, I'd beat him like I would beat everybody else. I don't think I will face him. I think most people would drop out. I think he would drop out. I wonder how Ron DeSantis would respond to that. I, 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 my, my guess is the reality is DeSantis would not challenge Trump, but I doubt that he likes being boxed in this way. Nikki Haley announced her presidential run today. Do you plan on following suit? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> Four to six weeks later. We showed that we can and must revitalize America. We need the courage to lead and the strength to win. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. Be careful what you wish for. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, not a lot of suspense at the top of the ticket. Show us how big a blowout this was, though, for the former president. Yeah, a couple ways to look at it, Savannah. I mean, first of all, the 51% that Donald Trump ends up with, that is a record in the Iowa caucuses. The previous best was 41%. And the margin here, it's basically 30 points, Trump to DeSantis. The previous best was 12 points. So he substantially improved at what we've seen historically. Look, Trump improved, obviously, across the board. The biggest improvement, evangelical voters. He lost them double digits in 2016. He swamped DeSantis and Haley among them. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> one interesting nugget here, I think. Look, 99 counties in Iowa, you see that Trump right all over this. There's one county that Trump didn't win. And I want to show you how close Trump came to go in 99 for 99. Check this out. One vote. Wow. One vote in Johnson County. And if it had flipped, Donald Trump would have won there and he would have gone 99 for 99. I think we must remark upon the absolute tragedy of Ron DeSantis. <laughs> Listen, the way to pronounce my last name, winner. Uh, a potentially major development in Ron DeSantis' presidential campaign tonight, the Florida governor canceling appearances on both CNN's State of the Union and NBC's Meet the Press tomorrow morning, right before the New Hampshire primary. The media hits were canceled due to a scheduling issue and will be rescheduled. The Bullshit. <laughs> Nobody worked harder, and we left it all out on the field. Now, following our second place finish in Iowa, we've prayed and deliberated on the way forward. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. You want her? Go ahead. Take her. No? Then get back in line. Make America great again. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> great. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same.